Hello, and welcome back to... What are we playing? Stalker. Call it Pripyat. No, Call it Pripyat. Yet. Escape from Pripyat. You got? You want anything done? Uh, reverse bounty hunt. Name Disciple Monolith Pass. Any, anything else? No. Got anything you... No? Okay. All right, cool. Bye. Um, why am I radiated? What's, uh, what's up with that? Why am I radiated? What is going... Oh, I think I... Just before I stopped, um... Like, for the night, I, uh, I may have eaten some mutant meat. Um, so I did quite a lot of... A, a ton, in fact, of inventory management. And I've upgraded quite a lot of our equipment. And I also repaired a bunch of things. Um, I made some ammo. I made our first chunk of ammo, something I, I could have kept on, uh, you know, I could have recorded that, but, you know, like, it's really not that exciting. Um, is spoilers, we didn't, I, I was only able to make one bunch of bullets, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Um, you know, I know it's a lot of effort to make that amount of ammo. Be, bear in mind that, uh, that amount of ammo is about 6,000 rubles you see it's it's maybe not that much but it is quite a lot let me see here 762 39 762 39 is uh okay 3000 wait what oh that was 60 um hold on a second 762 39 ap so that's 6000 that's for ap but uh we would probably buy the fmj stuff which is where I'm not even sure I might have gotten thrown down here. I can't remember. Anyway, it, it's you know, a dollar uh, saved something something. You know, you know how it goes. Anyway, I did a lot of stuff and I upgraded our armor as well to allow us for a second um, part here or a second slot, um, which I've put improved Kevlar in. Uh, I'm gonna keep this artifact on us. Um, because it, uh, it, it is actually, it was kind of, it did kind of save my butt a little bit. Um, giving us a little bit of extra, uh, uh, inventory space is quite nice. So, you know, I uh, highly appreciate that. I'm going to have to throw some more. Oh, right. This thing requires a magazine. I forgot about that. Um, oh no. Do I not have a magazine? Did I throw the magazine away for this thing? Oh man, I really hope not, because I seem to recall the magazine was quite uh, particular. Oh, that would be the worst thing ever. I think I did. Oh no. Warning, no magazine loaded. It and this requires a very particular magazine, as I under understand. This is a AK-103 rifle. Oh, have I absolutely ruined it? Have I spoiled it? Do you have my magazine, friendo? You don't have any of the stuff. They don't really keep the stuff that you sold them, do, do they? Or maybe they do, I don't know. Um, I'm looking for an AK-103 magazine. Right? Is he... Uh, okay, hold on. Compact. Rifles receiver made of stamped... Steel. Yeah, what kind of magazine does it need? Details. How about that? Attachments. No, I just, I just really want to know what kind of magazine it needs. I'm pretty sure I have ruined this completely. Extended SKS magazine. Uh. Oh man. Okay. Well, no biggie. Um, I just spent a lot of time and effort making bullets for a gun I can no longer use because I don't have the magazine. What a silly gun design. Honestly, a gun design that can only take a one specific kind of, uh, you know, magazine. Unless there's a, like, I'm, like I'll, I might uh, come back with other magazines and, and try it. But um, I'm assuming you can only use one kind. Oh, man. So dumb. Well, we might as well. I've been carrying that 
stupid thing on me for a long time. Also, here's the SVT. I did have an SVT. Does this one require a magazine as well? Oh, this thing has a had the really nice scope. It had the really nice scope, and I I also the the barrel. Uh, is it the yeah? The barrel is completely destroyed on this. I didn't realize that. Well, um, we could switch to the SVT. I'm pretty sure the SVT does have a magazine. Loaded magazine. Uh, it's an SVT 40 magazine. Also requires a funky magazine. What's with these guns that require that? I wonder if it could uh, take the PU scope. Probably not, right? Oh, yeah. PU special scope. I wonder if that would... Oh, my God. Now, I know the obvious question here is, why not just use the SKS? I like the SKS. Why not just use the SKS? That's a good question. Um, I don't think there's any good reason here. 38 damage. This does way more damage. 51 damage. There's a good reason right right there uh, why I would want to upgrade to the, SK, uh, the, the SVT. The SVT does do quite a bit more damage. Um... I upgraded the stupid gun as well. God damn it. I'm so actually upset about that. Uh, Alright, well, I'll have to figure that out in my own time. Maybe we can, maybe I can salvage the upgrades on it and do some more um, management between stuff. Let's, first of all, why don't we take this, um, this rifle upgrade kit and we can we can repair the svt um i'm pretty sure i can salvage this pretty well does this do we have the gas system for it gas system looks like one i have seen a few times before in fact it looks like one i might even have this it looks like the one no it's not the one looks okay yeah the the one in the sks we can we can use in the sks the, the svt i really gotta stop I'm trying to sound like i know what i'm talking about at all um, so we'll take out the gas system there and we'll put that in the SVT and in fact it is compatible and um, we need a barrel I don't think the SKS barrel is compatible although it does look very close it does look very close so we'll take the barrel oh, wow blow my mind it is actually compatible so I'm feeling like everything could probably be swapped why don't we try a uh, dirty bolt let's try and get the bolt the bolt is in fact the same okay so let's get the bolt and throw that on there as well so never mind actually swapping to the svt is going to be fairly painless the only thing um the only thing that's going to be uh, a kind of a pain is the actual condition of the gun is not great but that's not a problem because i've got some rifle repair kits uh, we are going to keep our AKS, despite the fact... I mean, I do have some uh, 545. It's a good, uh, you know, it's a good gun. So, we'll use both of these rifle repair kits. So, I'm going to use this. This isn't going to work. Small bore rifle repair kit. Does that not... That doesn't work? Hmm. Interesting. Not sure why that is the case. Is this not a small bore? Uh, semi-automatic rifle. All right. Well, let's. You know what? Let's throw some 762. I know I'm doing inventory management. I actually did. I did a ton of uh, inventory management in the last episode. Don't tell me. Uh, m medium sized magazine. Yeah. What what kind of ammo does it take? I thought it took 762. Does it not take 762? Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, 762.54. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Well, okay. Listen, I do I think this is actually worth it. Uh, and we'll learn. I'll, I'll show you a little bit about um, making your own bullets. I do. Th I, I, like, I, I, I know. I know. I understand. I'm starting this episode with a ton of inventory management. I, I promise you. I did so much stuff before starting this because I was like, I'm, I don't want to like, I, I don't want to do a ton of inventory management. Um, so we're going to try and convert 
you know, I guess this is worthwhile. Uh, I need the gunsmithing tools. We'll grab the gunsmithing tools, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dismantle this amazing 762 39 ammo that I spent a lot of time and resources making. And I'm pretty sure I got a very, like, a fraction of what I used to make it. I don't even think we're going to have enough to, to make the 54 here, but we'll try anyway. Um, so just making sure, yeah, we need 762-54. So let's go ahead and get our crafting, put our crafting hat on. See if we can make, yeah, there it is. Um, not sure if all of these are compatible. It looks like to me I can't make the, uh, I can't make 762-54 AP, which is probably cheap, but we can make, um, FMJ. I'm assuming that this would be fine. Uh, well, we can't make the other one, so we may as well make this one. And unfortunately, we're only making 10 rounds of this. Hopefully, we won't need that many rounds, you know. The one thing I, I don't... I, I've seen this complaint often in uh, the... Um, Call of... Pri um, sorry, Escape from Pripyat Discord is, like, when you craft, it takes a long time to get out of that animation. Um... And it is kind of a pig. It is unfortunate, but um, you know, uh, it's a, it's a small complaint. So that does fit in that magazine. Pretty sure I can't make any more than that, but it doesn't matter. I only have the one magazine, um, so you know, we better hope that that's gonna do it. You know, let's see if we can't make one more batch of ammo. No. Okay. So we're good. We're done. Um, no more messing around with that. Um, we'll put this in our SVT. Oh, what is this? How come I have these in my inventory? I tried to like take, get rid of everything in my inventory that I wasn't going to need, including some stuff that is used for like repairing our weaponry. Um, because I find that, you know, like when we're done, is when you know we're we're ready to come back and um and that's when we can repair our stuff so now what i would like to do is uh i want to get I, I have a very little money but i should have enough i can afford um some of the grease for oh the guy's gone do you have the grease do you have the corn um Looks to me like you do not have it. Bummer. You do have this though. Small bore rifle cleaning kit. That would probably be good enough. But I really I, I can't believe that this stuff doesn't work. This this rifle here. Why doesn't it work? Used for repairing equipment, base condition gain 20%, not usable below condition one, repair bonus ten. Um, usable on mechanics workbench for part replacement and upgrades. Well, how come I can't use it? I don't know. That's kind of annoying. We can use this, but the thing about this, um, if I use this, this is more, uh, it gives you more percentage if your gun is a, a higher, higher condition. Um, so using it now would be, uh, very much a waste. In fact, we get half of the, uh, the condition back that we would have normally. So, I, I don't like the idea of using that up. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, I guess it's just night. So, what I will do is I will go to bed. I thought I had just gone to bed, but it's fine. Listen, I know this is not... Maybe not the mo most exciting way to start your episode. But... Sometimes, you know, you just gotta... You gotta power through. You gotta... You gotta do it. And I, I, I feel really dumb. I... For ruining our gun with the really nice scope this is i like the pu scope i think it's actually quite good um so it's not a huge loss and the svt is actually a very good gun in my opinion i think it is anyway so the only thing i would like to get is some more of that grease maybe I actually have some of that grease Oh, I also, by the way, I did make a headlamp, so we're on our way towards getting some really good stuff. What does this do? Explosive resistance. We could sell that for a little bit of money. I wouldn't mind. So do we have any grease? I don't think we do. 
Um, I have you know, specifically for cleaning our gun. Doesn't seem like we do. I'm going to go ahead and check if this guy has it. I'm pretty sure he does. No, actually, no. Maybe I already bought it. I have been like buying a bunch of things from these guys, so it might be. It does have a serve. The serve is quite good. Um, actually, let, let me go ahead and sell my artifact here. Not a lot of money, but honestly, I'll take it. Um, you'll buy my harmonica. Nice. All right. I, I, I'm Shoot almost done. Punch. I promise. Do you have? Yeah, there you go. You've got it. Brunox gun care. This is, uh, this is the good stuff. It's not really the good stuff. Let me just double check. I'm using the correct, um, stuff. I, I got the image. Uh, oh, I see. This is, it's better to use this when the gun is above 65%. Um, but we can't really do that, unfortunately, because our gun is, you know, fairly broken. But that's okay. We'll, we'll take a small, uh, hit. How come... How is it, why is this not working? It's not letting me even click on it. Does this not let you use it? Use for repair, uh, cannot, not usable below condition 25%. Have cleaning effectiveness below threshold 50%. I'm having a hard time right now. I don't know what's going on. It's not letting me select it. That's really frustrating. I can select it here? No, I can't. Okay, so this interface is just broken right now. All right. Might warrant a, a, a reload. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, it was indeed a bug, and it seems to me I can now select it, which is good. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not going to use this as a bonus right here. I don't know if I think if I use it as a bonus, I just like it doesn't I don't like it uses it up right away uh, We will use that for a bonus 2% I'm gonna try and repair the SVT uh, as much as I can I still tried I did try the rifle repair kit and it didn't seem to work. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe it's just a Maybe this is not a small bore rifle um, So we'll go ahead and use this again. Uh, I guess we can use a patch. I don't know and honestly, I wouldn't mind buying another one of those if I can, but I am like kind of completely taxed out of like all of my money. Um, definitely can't use this. It might be because I they're stacked. I don't know. No, no, it's just not. Yeah, not, not letting us. Okay. Um, so yeah, if I use this, is it still 7%? It's still only 7%. We need this, th this thing to be above... 65% before we can use it. All right. I, I am done. I promise I am done uh, we're, we're done with doing inventory management stuff um, We've got our bullets the gun is loaded. Let's go He says as he like walks away. Why is the helicopter? Just kind of doing its thing up there. Okay. Also, I did uh, I did find in my inventory was um, I don't know from maybe looted from one of those bodies was a uh, 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 Some kind of box of food which I had to use some lock picks on um, So we, we got some food. Um, I cooked up some more stuff. So we're actually pretty good, but the um, The mission today is actually find water I'm gonna actually take a look at the map and see if I can't spot any water what is this? Revenge killing. Okay, we'll Seems go and do get. that. I don't know if... I, I guess we're, we might have to go to uh, the swamp. I might uh, we'll try and make like a note of places in various locations, like Cordon, for instance. Um, about... Oh, there's a, is that a stash just south of us? Yeah, there is. There's a stash. Okay, let's go there first. Southwest. I'll make a note of um, places in like the cordon where I can, you know, get some water. Um, 
So let's have a look. This is our SVT. It's so nice to have a, a, a scope again. You really do miss it. You miss it when it's gone. We only have 10 shots with the SVT, but that should be good. Uh, I did like basically fully repair uh, both our AKS and our shotgun. It's honestly like, I know I do a lot of inventory management in this game. And I mean, like I'm conscientious of the fact that it's probably not very fun to watch. Um, but I actually really enjoy it, to be honest. I, I enjoy, uh, the act of, like, going through, uh, and just kind of, like, meticulously, uh, you know, figuring, d doing some of that management and, you know, figuring out what we can get rid of, what we can, uh, disassemble. And then, like, because, uh, you know, eventually the, the, the hope is that, um, all of the stuff that we're picking up will actually amount to something anything um that's kind of the hope but um I mean, it's not always the case and that's okay 762 interesting from this magazine this very small magazine it looks like a pistol enemy uh, magazine but why are we getting 762 from a small magazine like that very strange. Okay, um, so we need to go south. I really don't want to have to go through this tunnel, but it sounds to me like it would be better to do that than to go through. Now we could try our, um, can't remember, is it O? How do we, how do we check out our new, trying to find out how to turn on our night vision or at least our, our flashlight. It might be L actually. No, H. Okay, I, I'm going to have to go through our keybinds what an awful episode this is all right keybinds um i want to try our new flashlight because I, I i i'm i'm actually pretty proud of the fact that i made it night vision torch um item animations well okay uh, i know there's a button for it it might be that i have to open up um I had another thing open for with stalker stuff and I don't know where it is right now. So I'm going to have to find it again. It's on the, uh, in the discord. What, what, uh, what good stuff we're doing. I, I know there's a, basically a really nice a keybinds, um, picture that, uh, shows off, um, all you know all of the keybinds and here it is i found it wasn't too difficult okay here we go tap transmission wrist watch oh yeah there's a wrist watch unload all tap reload double tap unjam um switch to detector is z double tap switch to rf receiver huh there's actually some really good oh here we go shift plus tap equals switch to flashlight Shift Z. No? That doesn't seem to be working. Um, tap N for cycle NVGs. That's not working either. Long hold. Wow, none of this is working, huh? We could just... Um, maybe... Does it have a battery? It did have a battery. Hmm. This, uh, this thing has rarely steered me long. Oh, wait a minute. Ta tap, toggle, headlamp. There we go. Very good. Okay. Listen, I know it might seem silly to, uh, use this... Um, for such a small tunnel that, you know, there's really not a lot going on, but it's more to form a habit so that we can, um, so that we can, you know, we know how to do it in the future. Those things are not to be messed with. Okay. Like I want to know how to I want to know how to use that in the future. It's important. 
Okay, so there should we're we're doing a revenge killing, I think. Uh, I don't know why it's steering us west when it's very clearly east, but I guess it's still steering us towards this thing. Oh, they really want us to destroy that military base. I refuse. Absolutely refuse. I don't know with the SVT and scope, maybe it's possible, but like. You guys might recall I had an entire army of stalkers, uh, some of which had like gear and they just got mowed down by a helicopter. So unless I figure out how to turn off some of the settings, I don't know how, like I might have to look that up. But um, yeah, that's that was like highly unreasonable. Which is a shame. Because I'm pretty sure it's our next, like, story mission. There's... It's a flesh. Actually, it's just a boar. Okay. That was fine. Oh. I still don't know what that's supposed to signify. I thought it meant that there was an emission coming. But it didn't seem to. Get some boar meat. I still have a trait point that I should spend. I didn't... I did not spend it. Ooh. Highly not worth it. Still got some bad reds. Um, all right. How, how far away are we? Okay, it looks like it's over there. I'm assuming there's going to be a few bandits that we got to take care of. The bandits tend, don't tend to just like, you know, I mean, sometimes they do. What in the world? Someone is walking into an, uh, an anomaly. Sometimes they're on their own. Very rarely though. There's usually a bunch of them. Let's do a quick save. Pretty sure it's that guy there. No, it was in fact the other guy. Ah, oh, this was a free stalker. God damn it. Well, at least he had an SKS. He had, he had great taste. Hey, that might actually mean he has, uh... Well, he has 762.39, and the stuff I used to use as well. It's a dang shame that I don't use it anymore. But he, does, he did have some really good replacement parts for my gun. So, um, for that, I am eternally grateful. This guy's got some good stuff, too. I uh, do feel a little bit bad there, but apparently that was my mission, so can't be can't be uh, all that upset. I don't know who's giving me jobs to kill free stalkers, though. I usually tend to steer away from those kind of missions. All right. Well. 
Um, let's see. Do we have any other missions in the area? That sounds like the helicopter. No, I mean, there's still that night terror. I'm not doing that night terror. We have some stuff we can try and accomplish in Agriprom, but I really don't think I can do Agriprom. Living Legend Underground Hideout. Doctor suggests visiting Sterlock's hideout. Strelok, sorry, hideout in Agriprom Underground for clues on his whereabouts. I am very um, concerned about the idea of going underground. Especially in Agriprom, because um, that, that's bound to be littered. With all kinds of nasties. Bloodsuckers and uh, snorks. I don't feel super prepared for that just yet. Um, you know, I maybe, maybe, like we could have a have a look, but uh, that that air, whole area is like military town. Um, time to return to task giver military um, faction patch six. Okay, we can hand in some military patches. Uh, I guess we could head over to Agriprom. I don't like it, but. I mean, I, I do have a pretty good stock of ammunition. I think that good, a good idea, um, you know, a friend of mine has been like basically just wandering around the cordon and um, I'm going to get this keybinds thing out of my, out of, out of my view. Um, they've been just wandering around cordon and killing bandits. And I do think that that's a really decent way of like getting some more ammunition and more parts for your gun and you know whatever you need basically um especially if you can do it without taking too much damage so it's something i i would you know wouldn't mind doing but i don't know how exciting that's going to be like just wa watching me wander around are those the same oh those are the boars i think i killed earlier I would like to do a little bit of grinding um, up some resources so that I can uh, work towards the bear detector. Like, we have the means of making it. We just need enough parts. And um, a lot of that is going to come from deactivating, or not deactivating, disassembling, like, stuff. Enough, you know, just a, a bunch of stuff. It's not super exciting, but having a bear, uh, a bear detector would be quite nice. might mean I could actually find some more some any artifacts I really haven't found any artifacts the most like I found all of my artifacts off of bodies our dude is hungry our dude gets hungry a lot quite often I'm hearing a lot of ratatats so let's go check that out I'll grab a bite to eat real quick I still have unspent trait points. That's right. We were still trying to find water. You know what? Let's go to the swamp. I don't like the... I, I know, you know, we've seen enough of the swamp, but we're going to go to the swamp real quick so I can grab some more water. And also, we'll, we'll just head to Agriprom from the swamp. And I'll, I'll make a stab at doing Agriprom. a little bit dicey oh is there a dog over there oh god wow i cannot hit these guys at all luckily we have a lot of shotgun ammo i can waste waste it on stuff like that I think there's still one left because I saw the bar fill up there slightly. Oh god! Wow! My dude! 
freaking lucky double headshot, I guess. Jesus. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Ugh. Wait. Why was I going north? I thought I was trying to go south. Was I going the wrong way? We were we were trying to go to the swamp, right? Yeah. So I, I guess I was just like completely going in the wrong direction. Well, that's a relief, honestly. That means I don't have to go that way. Get shot at. Wait, no, we were going the right way. Am I losing my mind? The answer is yes. Uh, all right, well. We could visit our old friend. I can't remember his name. Strevelok. Um. Puchevoyek. I don't know his name. You know, the, the dude. The dude in the, uh, in the starting village. I haven't seen him in a while. His prices are awful. Hence why I don't go to him too often. And the town is honestly not very good for, for buying stuff. It's not a bad town for finding missions though however so we could consider that but um you know like oh god i had to i alt tabbed right as i heard the beginnings of a, like a gust of wind and it spooked me slightly We could find some missions. I don't know. I, I'm very like back and forth about all of this because like we're we're in a little bit of growing pains right now. Um, I think the last thing I could really stand to obtain before taking on anything substantial. I mean like better armor, obviously, but also um, I I think that our weaponry is just on the verge of like not good enough. <laughs> you know. No, привет. I couldn't complete the job. Is there any work you want done? Scout the area around Rookie Village. Have anything else? Um, is there any work you want done? Sure. I'll do it, but like, it's generally not very good work. I don't know who this person is that, you know, you can't really say anything to, to them. Hip. Greeting stalker piece. They seem to be a major or important uh, NPC, but uh, you can't. I can't seem to do anything, you know, with them for them. Привет, брат. Is there any work you want done? Location in the Great Swamp, west of the road of Agrapom. My friend was mugged and taken hostage by some bandits. I really don't know what to do. I should do. Um, we could do that. Sure. I know it means we have to come back here. Which is a bummer, but it's these are usually good pay. Looking for an escort squad. You have anything? Nope. Okay, we'll go and uh, see our old friend just for a moment. See if he's got anything good for sale. He does. I mean, he's got great, for, you know, amount of stuff. Sidor Sidorovic. Yeah, there any, is there any work you want have done? Wild territory. I don't know where that is, so probably not. Uh, location Jupiter. Contract killing. Bandit faction patch. We can do that. Job is done. 4,500. Nice. That's not really great pay. I think 6,500 is for... He'll tell me where a stash is. Uh, anything else? You want me to kill a member of the mercenaries? Location Yantar. Forget it. Uh, in routes, connections, right? Can you help me settle some things with some people? Now, let's just have a quick look at what he's got. He does have a headlamp with night vision. We can craft this ourselves. Oh, he's got an ammunition guide. Oh, this is 11,000 handguns. I don't, uh, I'm not super interested in anything for handguns. 
Do you have a lot of magazines? I wonder if maybe he sells uh, one for the AK-103. Um, looking for it is going to be interesting, though. Uh, AK-74. This is actually... I'm pretty sure I can use this with our current AK-74. Our AKS? We don't have an AK-74. We have an AKS, right? No, we do have an AK oh, we have an AKS seventy four. Um, AKM magazine. Some of these are better. Oh, fast loading, seven sixty two thirty nine. AK one hundred three magazine. It is eleven thousand, however, but it is a replacement magazine. Oh, here we go. We don't have to spend um, 11,000 because I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. So we'll go ahead and buy one of those. And I don't even have to like sell anything. We will sell some of our mutant parts though. Um, I guess we can sell our boar fangs as well. We'll sell that painting or picture and these magazines and some of the useless stuff we don't need. I don't know what this uh, flash drive is. I think it's for a quest that we haven't received yet. All right. Um, sell this. These are, these have stuff in them, but they're not my, ah, huh, okay. I should unload those. But anyway, so we have, a, we, <laughs> I, I hope this isn't too frustrating, but I mean, we do have our magazine back so I can um, go back to our other gun, which I'd like to do because I did upgrade it. Um, I like the SVT. We haven't even used the SVT yet, but um, I do like it. Let's go ahead and unload these uh, magazines. We could probably sell them, actually. We should sell them. I really, I really would like to get a... Um, you would think that there'd be a sight or scope or anything for the AKS-74, but there really doesn't seem to be. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, we, well, we also sell that uh, sports bag. It's the only reason I'm carrying it is to sell it. Okay. Sell all that. All right. Good stuff. Thank you, Sidorovic. Generally, um, you have very good stuff, but it is expensive. Very expensive. <sighs> like, I could buy one, like, three grand for 15 bullets. I just, I, I, I refuse. I absolutely refuse. I can't, I cannot abide by those prices. Um, you know what? Okay, real quick. Sorry, last thing. I am going to sell some of these gun parts. Oh, we can't sell them here. That's right. It seems like no one in the cordon, um, or it's, it's honestly no one in, like, anywhere will buy gun parts except for the, the, the farm. And, um... Yeah, just it's just like the farm. So we'll go ahead and throw our 762. We actually have some 762, so that's kind of nice. But we're gonna go to the um to the swamp to do our rescue mission, and then we'll go to Agriprom. So where is this rescue mission? Search and rescue is right there. Wow, you really uh you really do be wanting me to go like. All over the place so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna fast travel here there's a not a zero percent chance that I may spawn right in front of bad guys so there is that to be concerned about slightly um, I'm not gonna be doing too much fast travel um, I do actually kind of like wandering through stuff but like uh, you know, for the sake of, of entertainment on, on both our sakes, you know, for saving a bit of time, I will. I, I did actually fast travel from, um, where was I even? I was in the garbage back to the farm uh, in order to do uh, inventory management. I mean, like, you know, right now all of my stuff is at the farm. Jesus.
Wow, that is a full-on war. Uh, I swear to God, if that helicopter comes over here, go ahead. Can we? Can we fill this, please? All right. It's not a great hanging out in the water because it is radioactive. Finally going to have water again, and I'm, I'm going to have two jugs of water this time. And we're going to go ahead and boil that water. No, no, we're not. I guess I need to have a fireplace. Okay, well, there's a fireplace right here. I... I guess I'll need matches. Need matches. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's my own fault. <laughs> we do have water, though. I mean, you know, some of the job is done. Honestly, if that is Machine Yard being attacked, and it sure sounds like it, now might be a good time to actually hit it. This is going to end in disaster, I promise you. But I will give it a go. That helicopter is still there. Okay, let's uh, give it a go. I'm hoping that a lot of them have been killed. Here's what I would like to do, is I want to get into the building and lure them in one by one. Really cool that they can see me through the fence. I mean, I hear someone in, like, a mech suit. This is such a stupid quest. I I, I need, like, a full-on army. I, I, we're literally attacking. We're, we're fighting the military. So, I mean, I, it, does, it does make sense that they would be, like, armed to the teeth and have a helicopter. For sure, it all makes sense. But uh, as, a, as a, you know, gameplay mechanic, I think it's really dumb, to be honest. I'm not sure how you're meant to... Like, how, how, how equipped should I be in order to take this on? Either way, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. We're not doing that. Pretty sure that helicopter won't bother you so long as you haven't, um, it's kind of like, you know, the uh, wanted system in, uh, GTA. Is, uh, they only attack you so long as you're causing trouble. Anyone looking for an AKMSN? I guess I'll keep it. I do think that the chatter in the in the left there actually there is some like implications of things you can do like I people will actually ask like I need I need help to do something and then you can go and find them if you want and get a quest so there is some good stuff there uh, and I have said it before but I really appreciate it as a form of world building let's go ahead and save and I'm gonna drink some water I still have some so as soon as I find a fireplace, I'll be able to purify, uh, or at least boil the water, and then I have some purification tablets. Don't know why we have our SVT out. Them bullets is expensive, you know?
even even when we're making them ourselves i do wonder uh if like buying parts to make bullets is ends up ends up being cheaper than buying the bullets ourselves because i know that people will sell supplies like gunpowder and stuff like that it could be that it's not really meant for you're not meant to like buy the parts because it's cheaper but mm -hmm. if you're like missing a, a little bit of gunpowder like you've got everything you need but you're missing like exactly the you know a little uh oh god I hate this. Oh God. Those bloodsuckers are so scary. I watched a stalker shooting at a bloodsucker, the great swamp, south of the road to Agrapom, so the bandits know where I am. Fortunately, the bloodsuckers seem to travel alone. Q, Q sound effect for second bloodsucker. I bet you there was something in there, but it fell below the boat. That does happen. Oh god, those bloodsuckers. Scare scare the absolute crap out of me. They're really not super bad. I mean they don't never like they never seem to attack me. They just make a very scary sound, much like these anomalies. It's actually, um, you know, it's nice, a good thing in a way that I'm getting a little bit desensitized to them because I know I'm going to have to fight um, quite a few of them later on. Shotgun seems to be okay for them, although I, I, I have, you know, I hit them a lot. And they, they, you know, they, they, they have to take a few shots, must be said. Something is seeing me. Boars over there. Still have, have unspent uh, trait points. We could spend that. Um, butcher, 50% chance to get an additional mutant part. Unloading bullets from magazines goes faster. I kind of want that one, to be honest. Gunsmith. Lone Stalker. When you don't have any companions, you carry, your carry weight is increased by 5 kilograms, and you take 10% less damage. Well, seeing as I've been traveling alone exclusively, that wouldn't be bad. You deal 15% more melee damage to mutants. Awful. Why would I ever do that? Part restore. You have a 25% chance to not spend a use of your repair kit when repairing parts and tools. Killing stalkers and mutants reduces bleeding. Eh. Increases your movement speed. Your companions increases your carry weight by four kilograms not bad you take 10 percent less damage from mutants get five percent better prices at traders that are not of your not your of your faction okay um 15 percent higher chance to not spend a use of your repair kit <sighs> kind of like this lone stalker i'll take this for now I, I know there's no real going back on that, but I think that is like just a instant benefit. And I haven't had any companions yet. I would like to get some companions, but everyone I've asked 
to join me has told me no. So I, I think I need to get more reputation or something. Okay, I hear baddies. Let's, uh, let's have a bite to eat real quick. Save. We're ready to go. I'm gonna try and not use the SVT unless I absolutely have to. Damn it. How are they seeing me? Okay, uh, how many bullets in the head are you going to take exactly before before you actually die? That was that seems like a lot. Might switch to my SVT. All right, well, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, now it's raining. Why does it have to rain like this sometimes? Probably have to load and I don't have any med kits. Why don't I have any med kits? Okay All right, so apparently I didn't buy any med kits that was really silly of me The SVT is the correct decision though. I mean it seemed to kill them with one shot Unfortunately, I can't like see them. I can never see them until they see me. Okay. Might actually be it. Is that guy? Well. Death report. Stalker, loner, killed. Killed bandit. I'm pretty sure they were a bandit. Okay, before we start looting people, let's um see if we can't find the dude. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, cool. That was a bad guy. All right, let's save and we'll we'll start uh, looting. Is my thing on my uh, flashlight? Um, forget what the button was. V. It is on. Why is it on? I don't need it on right now. Okay, I had vodka. Always nice. Um, go ahead and disassemble this. Not a great amount of stuff there. That's okay. 
Renegade. Don't fight too many renegades. At least I don't. Um, not great stuff. Got some scrap. Scrap is always good. I haven't, you know, yet seen a use for scrap, but I'm sure there will be. We got um, Type 63 magazine. Oh, this this is the this is good ammo. We'll definitely use that. Barrel's pretty good, and that's a good gasket as well. One more. We got some nice mutant parts. not not awful and we got matches and you know what else we've got we've got a fireplace so we can uh, uh, boil our water here Let's go ahead and boil all nice old water and we want to purify that is there two of them? Where's the other one? What happened? What, what, like, what happened there? I should have a second one. Where did that one go? Oh, I see. Are they both purified? Purified. Oh, and boiled. Okay, so we'll go ahead and purify the other one. And now we're good. We have tons of water. All right, buddy. I know. It's been rough. Come on. Let's, let's get you to where we need to go. Um, which is going to be, unfortunately, in the opposite direction of where I intended to go, which was Agriprom. But, you know, money is money. Paycheck is a paycheck. Uh, this isn't the correct way. Very tempted to fast travel, but I don't know if I can actually fast travel with companions. Does it, I, I think that this guy counts as a companion in the sense that we, we now lose our perk, technically. Um, which sucks, but whatever. So I used six bullets in that fight, um, but that's okay. Because if you use six bullets and you're alive, then that was six bullets well spent, you know? Now, unfortunately, this guy's not gonna wanna walk through the water like I did. So we're gonna have to go the long way around. I really wish we could go through Agriprom, honestly would save me a little bit of time. Actually, it would save me zero time, apparently. We need reinforcements. We're under attack. Army warehouse. I hope you guys get absolutely obliterated. Zero mercy and pity for the mercenaries in, or the military in this game. They just seem like total jerks. I don't know. That's my perception, considering how, how much I've been completely stomped by them. So, uh, I'm thinking I might honestly call the episode here. I don't know. Like, I'm going to be walking for a little while um, to get this guy back. I mean, it is a quest. I do want to go to go to Agriprom. I guess, uh, you know, the fact that I actually have the right magazine now, I'm, it might actually warrant uh, going back to the farm and reprioritizing a lot of our equipment. So I'm back to using the other gun. Um, it's got a good scope. I really like it. Um, I don't know if it does as much damage as the SVT. The SVT is actually very nice. Um, but, you know, like... Hey, I, honestly, to be to be frank, it would be worth keeping all of them. Not like on me, of course, but like having a couple contingency weapons means like, you know, when I collect ammo for one of them and not the other, like, you know, we have, I think, I think we need like 762, 54 or some nonsense um, for the SVT. What is it that it needs? Yeah, 762.54. Um, whenever we collect that, I mean, better than having to buy bullets and better than having to make bullets. 
What? My dude. Uh, is finding bullets, getting bullets for free? Because, I, you know, that's the conclusion I've come to now that I have actually got to, you know, gotten to make ammo. Is that... What is this? Explorer's fate. Oh, I don't like going there, but... Um, is that, you know, you, the, the rate of return for crafting uh, bullets in this game is not very good. And I think that it, that is intentional. I mean, you know, just because you have, uh, you know, there are no real keys to the kingdom is what I'm saying. You know, like there's no easy answer. And just because you can make ammo doesn't mean that you're set. Oh God. I'm, I don't know if they trigger the anomalies. I don't think they do. If there's a mutants, then we have a reason to worry, but I think that actually anomalies are fine with the NPCs. Yeah, he's fine. Um, so yeah, like, I think that it is worth it, especially in this, you know, at this point in the game when I'm, like, kind of struggling to keep up with some of the, uh, demands of the zone that we, um diversify and it doesn't mean we carry all of the weapons on us you know far 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 be it we uh we do it is worth having a, a bunch of different weapon types though i don't know it's like the you know the fact that it's set, like i guess in a way that's an argument for me to actually find a decent pistol that i like as well there's probably some really nice pistols um and honestly, I should try some different uh, shotguns as well. I haven't really given many shotguns a try. And this one, I don't know if it is very good, to be honest. It seems to not be great in some ways. It's a good, like, general purpose shotgun. Maybe the ammo type I'm using is also not very good. I don't know. So I guess I've made the decision of also including uh, me rescuing this dude as part of this episode. So um, semi extra long episode. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to try and avoid this area completely. I do like the storms in this game. They're they're really nice. Very atmospheric. I think if there was one thing I could, um, you know, like graphically speaking if there's one addition i could see in this game it would be like you know maybe uh i, I think they're called like volumetric clouds like have um kind of a, a more dynamic skyline if it's raining you know have some have some clouds i don't know i've been playing a little bit of red dead in my off time and i have to say that uh it kind of spoils you completely It really spoils you because like it's just like man I, I really wish literally any game could be made at this standard um and, and I'm like it's I'm not you know I don't think uh, that every game should be necessarily it should look like Red Dead I just would like you know I would love a, a stalker game made on the scale of Red Dead that would just be so nice and I know Red Dead 2, maybe, but I, you know, like, there's a really good reason to be skeptical and, you know, um, a little bit suspicious of, of the, the quality of any AAA game that comes out these days. I'm seeing, you know, this is now we're, we're getting into some spicy topics, but like, I'm seeing more and more every single day, you know, like, live service games get shut down. So it's like, why would I pick up any live service game? Why would I, uh commit to anything like that um you know games come out half finished and then they get to they get a few patches and then maybe like six to eight months after the game is released it, it resembles the game that uh, people actually wanted or that, that that was promised um 
you know, I know that uh, game development is not easy, and I offer quite a lot of forgiveness. I mean, specifically or um, to, you know, indies, certainly to anyone who's developing a game. Um, and, you know, when I think for AAA, it's, it's a weird atmosphere now because uh, a lot of AAA games are made with a shareholder perspective and aren't really like they're trying to check too many boxes you know every single game it's not that they have to top the previous one they don't care about you know that, that's not as much uh, a priority as it is um oh no i sure hope those are stalkers My dude, where are you going? This is how you got kidnapped in the first place, isn't it? Jesus Christ, dude. I know the NPCs are tough in this one. <laughs> I I want to if I'm dropping people with my SVT, then I want to at least um, loot their corpse. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the thing. I'm just gonna pick stuff up. We'll worry about it later. farm right my dude where are you going this is such a bad idea I don't want my NPCs dying. Uh, spend all my time trying to figure out if someone's a bad guy, I get killed by another bad guy. Sometimes the AI in this game is a little bit jank. I don't know what's what the deal is with my dude who's just standing there. But anyway, we're almost done here, but one more pause for the road. Oh yeah. Okay, so that guy was a bad guy. I, I I gotta say nothing is more frustrating to me than shooting a guy dead like absolutely com like dead on in in the face and they and they don't drop with a shotgun uh, from like uh, five feet away 
Oh my god. Okay. All right, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Save. I'm sure there's one more. Right, this guy, my, my friend out here is confirming that there is. Whoa, what are you doing crab walking? Did you get him? Nope. <sighs> Jesus. All right. Well, uh, hopefully all of that will be worthwhile. At least these guys are bandits. And at least they have, what is this? 556.45. I don't even know if I can use this. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a... Ma it's a better magazine, but for a gun that I don't have. That's fine. Um, where is my V? Okay. Flashlight. I'm sh pretty sure there's another dude around the corner here somewhere. Maybe not. You bet you better not have looted anything, my dude. This is not Oh, we got an SVT with a PU special scope. Oh no. Okay, dude, get in. Get in. Get in and let me in. Oh my god. Wow, it's it's a uh, it's been kind of a day, hasn't it? Well, as long as we're here, we may as well sell some stuff. I think I'll call the episode here, honestly. I don't know if there's any reason to, to continue with this. But, uh, because I'm going to have to wait through the mission anyway. Um, so I will see you soon. And if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.